Hey, what's up guys? Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Zertucci here, and I've got this video and I decided to put this one out because it's going to deal a lot more with the leaders I'm currently using and why I'm choosing to go this route and using them. But at the same time too, it's got more information about the leaders that everybody's already using. What is it? Yeah, I'm about to find out. Yeah, gotta buy, gotta buy. I got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright guys, so These are probably my three popular leaders right now And you know these two Because obviously I always use the double drop And then you got the long three-way Redfish rigs right here Now the one you don't know about That I have been using Is my Jack Cravel rigs right here now, it's exactly the same as my redfish rig. However, the hook size is different. We've got a six out over here, and over here we got a seven out. And the reason I started choosing to go with that is because I've been throwing bigger chunks of bait on it. And with the bait that I'm using, I have to get more of a bite into it so that way they don't fly off the hook. Now, if we're doing just pinchers or something like that, you know, the legs and fish bite and stuff, my six odd hook with the three-way live bait rig will work just fine but since i've been throwing whole crab and i'm talking we're talking hold on real quick all right and i'm talking i'm throwing very decent sized crab i mean the shell on this one is minimum five inches across and let me flip this over real quick okay so with our hook pull this one out just so you can get an idea What I'm doing, and I don't want to do it on this one because we, well, I'm not planning to go through it. I'm cutting off this whole right side here, as you all saw in that other video. Then I'm coming through the joint right up in this area and coming to right there. And when I push through, this allows me to get a lot of bite in there, but still have a lot of hook exposure. So that way I can continue doing it. And so, yeah, but so I'm telling you, those are the size of crabs we're using, and it is very nice. So... All right, so again, like I said, you know, the reason I'm choosing to go with this one is because I'm throwing the bigger crabs and stuff like that. But also, too, don't get us wrong. You know, when you're throwing the smaller baits, say the, the crab claw or the legs or the fish bites, this one is what was used right now or as of last night to get the winning black drum, which you see now, which is 42 and 3 quarters inches, and it's in the lead. And you've already seen where I've used this one last year. And I took first place in the third month of that tournament, which was the final tournament of the year, where I took first place of mine. And so, you know, these three leaders, if y'all gonna go for big black drum or bull reds and stuff like that, will work great. And they all each have their application, but don't be fooled just because it has a Jack Carvel on there that you can't use it for the big uglies and bull reds. So, there you go, guys. That was just a quick down and dirty, real quick. Um, get you the information as to why I'm using different leaders and how they're performing so here's a few of the catches actually y'all seen quite a bit of those videos already and we're smoking them with these three sets right there so next time you come in be sure to check out our Jack Cravel rigs as well and yes we designed them for jack fishing on the beach because we're throwing you know big pony sized mullet for the Jack Cravels and or you know bigger sized bait and you know we had to change it up to get a little bit more hook exposure and it's working great.